Hey there guys, welcome back. Just doing a little transfer special this morning. However, in a few hours, there will be a video playing against Man United under 23s and Accrington today. So, stick with it. Drop a like on the video. Stick a comment in there. And I'll see you later on today for those couple of games. Okay, now on to the video. How you doing guys? Welcome back to the Rochdale Save. It's Full Time FM. I'm Pepe. How you doing? Um, these lads here in the green uh, writing, they're basically on trial. Uh, they're ineligible to play in the next game. Um, the lads in blue are on loan. Now, this lad here, Amika Obi, I've signed on a free transfer. Um, he's six foot six. Big strapping centre half, he was at Fylde, he was on non-contract terms with him. So we've offered him a contract, 300 quid a week, he's took it. Um, he is now part of our squad, he's only 19. Um, looking pretty good. So if I just do this. Now I've brought in a hell of a lot of players on trial. 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 18 players. <laughs> and... The reason being is uh, Jason Hughes, a centre back, young centre back from Northern Ireland, eighteen year old, six foot three. I think could go into the under eighteen squad. Um, George Headley, another young centre back, either foot nineteen, again could um, go into the under twenty three squad. Jordan Ariemi. Six foot one striker, three star potential, eighteen could go into the under eighteen squad. Um, Alex Petrovic, six foot three centre mid, um, again under eighteen. Ibrahim Bakari, six foot centre back, uh, eighteen. He'll go into the under eighteen squad. Mason Ruby, a centre back, um, 18 year old, 6 foot. Um, again, under 18 squad. And then let me just move some of these lads into the under 23s. Because there are some decent lads amongst them. But we don't really have a lot of um, youth players. Now, we've got Sebastian Soto on loan from Norwich as well. We're contributing 200 quid a week to his wages. Um, he's come in as a striker. He's cup-tied, though. So he's a loan player. Five-star potential ability. He should be quite good for us. Um, the lads that we've got for a senior team on trial are Anthony Stokes, former Celtic lad. Um, he could be a good player for us, a good squad player. Mark Wilson, former Stoke City player and Celtic. Um, I think he played at Celtic. Pretty sure he did. Did he not? No, he didn't. How has he not played for Celtic? In my head, he's played for Celtic. Which which lad was it that played for Celtic? <laughs> um, Nathan Dyer, a winger. Three and a half stars. He's coming on trial. Collins Tainer, now he looks like a decent young Ghanaian DM, three star potential, um, I like the looks of him, 12 technique, tackling, marking, 13 long shots, 11 passing, 14 acceleration, 12 pace, 12 stamina, 14 fitness, 18 determination, 16 work rate, 15 aggression, 14 leadership, he could be like a little Ndidi him, so something to think about. George Thorne, uh, three and a half star midfielder, potentially a four star. Uh, he's coming on trial. Has has as or as has Michael Doherty, twenty seven year old centre mid. Both of them look decent League One players, and I mean Linganzi, uh, a DM who I've seen in real life, very leggy. He's six foot two, thirty year old. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about him, but he's. 
I think Michael Doherty um, probably definitely George Dawn possibly as well Collins Tainer definitely Nathan Dyer I mean 15 dribbling acceleration agility off the ball and work rate 14 pace um, and 13 finishing and balance pretty good um, so you could potentially be another player Mark Wilson I'm not so sure about it's three stars so we've, we've got f seven first team players on trial there um, so if we have Amika Obi, Joel Lynch, Hayden Roberts um, Owen O'Connell that's four centre backs we could probably bring in Mark Wilson um, Connor Shaughnessy can play there but really he's a midfield player um, so I'm thinking possibly Mark Wilson um, midfield we've got Shaughnessy uh, Morley, Lund, Rathbone um, that's kind of it for central midfield possibly Connor Grant's not doing so clever um, so I think probably sign two of those players maybe Doherty and Tainer um, wingers we have Morris uh, Buckley Odo Milinkovic Newby um, I'm not quite sure on Odo I think to be honest with you he needs to go into the under 23 squad I think Grant also probably needs to go into the under 23s um, striker wise we got Madden, Humphreys, Mullin uh, Beasley, Soto not necessarily sure we need Stokes Be Beasley's injured um, and he's not been top notch he going the under 23s for a while so maybe if we sign Stokes as well because I, I expect Madden to get injured and I expect Humphreys to get injured both of these players get injured during seasons so that would just leave us with Mullin and Soto so if we bring in Stokes we've got good cover um, Milinkovic Buckley, Morris, Dyer would be really good for wingers so yeah I think I might um, end the trial of Amin Lingan Linganzi um, I might dear me Collins Tain is only two star but possibly three could put him in the under 23s for a bit might sign Thorne and Doherty we'll see I've, I've, ten, I've got him on loan for seven days on trial for seven days and I've got uh, Man United to play in ten days in the under 20 Man United under 23s in let's see a Papa John's trophy Will Nightingale let's have a look at him centre back he's decent Blondie Nukui or Nukui I don't know how you say his name so yeah Manchester United and then Accrington glamour ties uh, another lad we actually signed uh, was Umaru Balde a centre mid 17 Bissau Ghanaian um, on a free hard-working midfielder tackling 15 passing 11 first touch 11 work rate teamwork and aggression 15 determination 16 
Uh, he's gone into the under 18s, uh, so he could be a prospect, only 17 years old. Uh, Sammy Lee was, uh, you know, we had to move fast to secure the player. I had to trust my instinct. There you go. So he recommended him. Alex Samuel, striker from Wickham. Ooh, thirty-one and a half grand. It's tricky because aggression and fitness are sixteen, stamina eighteen, work rate seventeen. Some real good highlights. Uh, strength and pace fifteen, acceleration fourteen. But he's twenty-five and his dribbling and finishing are eleven. Um, you'd like them to be about 13 on the finishing at least. Three star pressing forward. Now if we compare him with Stephen Humphreys. Humps in blue wins out on all of them. Except for speed, physical and mental. Um... He's not really going to take Humps' place. So, no. So, transfer deadline is in one week. So, I've got these players in on trial just at the right time. Okay, I'm just going through um, the contracts of the players. And I came across something in Will Buckley's. Um, which is kind of weird. Um, uh, we have signed Col um, See, Mark Wilson signed. I can trigger his contract extension, even though he's only just signed. Aidan Barlow, 3.2 million release clause. Will Buckley has an injury release clause. Now, does that mean... That when the clubs negotiated this deal, um, does that mean that I can release him if he gets injured? Or does that mean I've got to pay him off if he gets injured? Huh. I'm not too sure about that. Um, Josh Dakers Cogler, the right back who signed a while back, triggered his contract extension. So. Let's have a little look-see. Um, there's a few players who haven't um, signed yet. It's five here. Um, making offers. Don't worry, I'm making offers, making moves. Right. Uh, Collins Tainer and Mark Wilson both signed. Um, the other lads have yet to sign. And I'm trying. Eight days till that Man United under 23 game. So you can see here going through that contract info bit. Josh Dakers, Cogley, Matt Wilson, Ollie Rathbone, Aaron Morley, Aidan Barlow and Colin Stainer. All one year contract extensions for the club. And the way you do that is go to squad, go to a player like Mika Obi, go to contract info and it'll show you there. And then if it has a contract extension, you'll find it just there. Now Linganzi's uh, trial is finished. Uh, however, uh, Michael Doherty has signed uh, on 2800 quid a week though. Bloody hell. Um, but I think he'd be worth it. Collins Tainer was 14, well 1500 quid a week. And Mark Wilson was 1300 quid a week. Ugh, ugh, some money. Uh, but we have brought in a bit of cash as well. Um, I cannot spend any more money. We had about 100 grand, 150 grand when we started. We'd raised 1.8, we spent 1.6, unbelievably. Um, we've got Soto on a 90 grand total fee, uh, monthly loan cost of 10 grand a month. Um, and I think we're paying 200 quid a week to his wages as well. Um, 
Ladke was 650 grand and Paul Mullin was 500 grand. Josh Morris, Morris was 42 and a half. Josh Dakers Cogley was 14. Joel Matic was 130. Um, everybody else was free who I've signed. Um, yeah. So, Solihull Moors. I just want to look at Kyle Hudlin. This guy here, six foot nine. Um, oh my god. Percentage of profit from that sale. They've took 60 grand. He is a six foot nine striker, jumping reach 20, heading 13. He's only 20 years old, Kyle Hudlin, and I do want to take a bit of a punt on him um, and see what he can do. So it's just a bit of a random, um, random sort of signing. Let's see. Keandere Simmons. I'm sure he was Liverpool and Blackburn. This kid was Liverpool. Oh, was it Man City? Man City. There you go. Hmm. I think he had a brother who played for Blackburn and. Um. There was definitely two of them. Yeah, there you go. He played at Accrington and Blackburn and Liverpool, I'm sure of it. Here we go. Liverpool, Blackburn, Accrington. Okira Simmons. Um, he was rapid. Uh, 20 year old, not really done much. Six foot two. Yeah, he was a right winger. Um, but yeah, shame he's not done anything. He looked pretty decent when I seen him. Well, bit of a bummer. Um, George Thorne would be very interesting joining the club, but he feels we lack financial muscle. Um, as does Nathan Dyer. As does Anthony Stokes. There you go. So we can't sign any of those three. So I don't see the point in keeping them any longer. Let's terminate their trials. Um, sad. Because they could have come in handy. But I think we got enough to be honest with you. Kyle Hudlin has joined us. Him and Amika Obi. Obi six foot six. Hudlin is six foot nine. Um, they come in from non-league, filed and Solihull Moors respectively. I think that should do us, to be honest with you. Um, it should be fine with that. Let's see. And Hudlin is twenty. Obi is twenty. Uh, is nineteen as well. Let's see, Collins Tainer, 22, Doherty, 27, Wilson, 23. Now I've got a selection problem. Crap. Right, Beasley's out because he's injured. Alex Newby. How long's he out for? It's a decent amount of time. Medical Centre. Alex Newby, two to four weeks, fractured upper arm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to terminate Gabrielle Osho's loan. 
and Hayden Roberts is on 21 so I think Wilson and Doherty and Tainer God, it's tricky this, isn't it? I'd like to put Newbie back in. Just can't do it. Um, unless Tainer's out. If I move Tainer to the under-23s, is he going to be unhappy? We're about to find out. <laughs> um, oh God! Stokes, Dyer, Thorn, and Osho all leave the club. Uh, Sammy Lee believes in huddling impact, so we got huddling instead of Stokes. So far B minus. So we will wait and see. Um the disappointed I spent sixty grand on Kyle Hudlin type buggers. And I spent ninety grand bringing in Sebastian Soto on loan. And apparently I sold Jim McNulty a bit cheap. Uh all delighted with me signing Aiden Barlow though. Ray. So transfers, I get a C plus at the moment from the board and the fans. So that is the transfer special. Um, I will be playing Man United and Accrington in the game later on today. So I hope you bear with me for that. I will see you all later on today. Take care of yourself. Bye now.